So boys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we got the Boylan Bottling Co. Creamy, creamy red birch beer made with birch oils. Has red 40 in it, has um, artificial flavors, has cane sugar, has carbonated water. 170 calories, okay. Um, 42 grams of sugar. And um, yeah, we're gonna try it here in a second. Today, I am going to be trying to, my place will be on, but I'm most likely gonna be trying to write a 250 word essay for a, why I'm a good applicant for the FBI Teen Academy. I'm trying to brainstorm ideas, and this is going to be my brainstorm beverage of choice to brainstorm ideas of how being a homeschool person and how FBI knowledge, how the FBI works, would benefit my school. Even though it mainly only benefits me because I'm homeschooled, and I'm almost like politics. Nor likes talking. We'll figure it out, nonetheless. All right, boys, let's try it out with um, since I drink one. Nice uh, bottle. Mom got this for me, probably at. Ace Hardware. I don't, I don't know what she got it, but she got it for me. I'm going to be using a bunch of connectors in that paragraph. One day, I'll let, how, I'll let you know how it goes. The deadline is May 18th. So, oh, this was oh, that's beautiful. Ooh, baby. That smells like root beer. Yeah, it smells like root beer. Nice. I always love a good root beer. It also going to be like a cream scent almost. It smells like purple and everything, and um, it smells like root beer. Like it's like kind of spicy root beer, like the barrels. You know, if I don't like spice root beer barrels or anything, you can like Halloween or like old nursing home candy. They're awesome, dude. I absolutely love them. They're old fashioned, but um, let's try it out. Oh. It is quite smooth. It tastes like root beer. But um, it tastes like root beer. Now watching the birch oils. Very vanilla-y. Vanilla-y. Like taffy. Very, hmm. It, it is, it's an interesting flavor. I mean, it tastes like root beer, but it kind of has like a little bit of like an, an ice cream taste to it. Like a nice, really rich root beer. And then like with a finish of vanilla ice cream. It, it's not bad. Whatsoever, um, you know, ingredients, carbonated water, cane sugar, pure birch oils, natural and artificial flavors, vanillin, citric, citric acid, um, sodium, benzenate, and preserved freshness, red 40 for color, caramel color, it has a little U in a circle, I forgot that, man, it's probably got a little trademark, I don't know, I don't know. yeah, but maybe it's the vanilla, it does it have like a, like a strong finish of vanilla ice cream, let's we'll try it all good. It doesn't taste red. It tastes like, um, tastes like, um, it's root beer. Almost like Teddy's root beer, specifically Teddy's root beer. It's not exactly Mug, because Mug's is a, a, swear, a sweet root beer. It's not exactly Bark, which is a little bit more, uh, kind of almost like a little bit of spicier. This is a very smooth and rich, on par with Teddy's root beer. They mix like Teddy's root beer and Mug root beer together. And then like a like a pint, it tastes, it tastes like um, maybe that's what the creamy means. It's a creamy problem. Maybe the, the creamy means like a root beer float. This is exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like a root beer float specifically. Teddy's root beer, root beer float. If you've ever really, like lived in the Midwest specifically, I don't. I've never seen it on the West Coast. I haven't been to the East Coast, but in the Midwest, there's a thing called A and W stores. And um, you'll commonly see them in KFCs. They're like kind of like merged together. And I have seen A and W restaurants by themselves, and they don't have exactly the best food. But um, when they, where's KFC? I'm pretty sure it's KFC. Is it KFC? I honestly don't remember, but in Montana, just north of Dillon, I think maybe on the road towards Bozeman or Helena, maybe some. I don't know. It, I, it was young. I was young when it happened, but um, there was just like. A and W mixed with a KFC, and it was like basically in the middle of nowhere. It was like one of those things like where you drive here and you'll have like no more gas, so you'll have no gas station for a hundred miles, kind of thing. Just be like fields and the like cattle and just like farms and stuff. And I remember it was always rainy there, always rainy. I don't, I don't remember like having one memory where it wasn't like rainy or clouds in the sky. Never a clear day there, but um, it was an awesome place, and um, there'd be gas station there. Dude, Montana. I when I used to live in Montana, it was a great place, man. It just had its own culture, and it was just nice to see all these new cool things and so much space and 
listen to classic rock stations and then when classic rock goes away and just hear nature and stuff it was just great i can't even like remember like the feeling of just like constantly having to pop my ears from how high the elevation was dude <laughs> going from like dylan to like all the way like up up so but yeah basically long story short now a and w a and w kfc merge it was right by um uh like your turn to the highway basically it's like I don't know, what do you call it? Like, I had, like, a bridge. Okay, like, a bridge here. Highways on top of the bridge. One road here. One road here. Okay. And basically, my face is this bridge and everything. And it was, like, right... It was right here. Over here. Behind this right turn and everything. I don't know why it matters, but, um... I ha this is a review and reading. That's what R&R &R stands for, by the way. I had to say, like, every video. <laughs> Even if anybody remembers, I have to remind them. Okay? And, um, yeah. The A&W story had a root beer flow. And I remember it fondly because it would be like driving for like four hours and just, I don't know, tired and weird because it's just liminal. It's a very liminal place, Montana sometimes, where there's a farm and especially, especially like the early spring months, like around like March, February, it was gloomy, rainy, almost snowy, slurry. I mean, it's almost like that almost all the year, except for like maybe like June, even June, it, it snows still. A bunch of other stories they talk about snowing in the summertime and everything in Montana, but um, long story short, good. Tastes like a root beer float that A and W had that I liked as a kid, and it was really good. Okay, and that's the story and the review of the uh, Boylan Bilinko Creamy Red Birch Beer Soda. Side on our boys. Peace.